Hey, welcome back to Life Plus. This semester we've been looking at the armor of God and we've talked about the importance of being armed because we are not um, in a playground, that this world is a battlefield. And we need to help our kids understand that it's not about having an easy life, it's not about um, trying to make life happy all the time, but it's about being prepared for the battle that we face each and every day. And, and that battle is with the spiritual forces of this world. Um, and so first we looked at the belt of truth and how truth needs to be the foundation of everything that we um, look at, think about, talk about, and that the Bible is our source of truth and that we use that as our guide to determine what is true and what is not true. And then we looked at the breastplate of righteousness and we talked about that Christ's righteousness is our breastplate. That's what covers us and it's because of his righteousness that we have access to the Father uh, and that needs to be uh, just kind of what motivates us to get through each day is that righteousness that covers us, that, that takes care of all of our sins. Um, and today we're going to look at what's next and it is the shoes of the gospel of peace. And Doug, would you like to tell us a little bit more about what those are? Sure. So the idea as we're going through this uh, spiritual armor is obviously thinking about, you know, helmets, breastplates, belts, all the different pieces. And one element of that is shoes. And obviously in our culture today, um, if you were going to compete on a football game, a soccer field, uh, a basketball court, the shoes you wear are so important because they're what give you balance, they're what give you traction, they're what help you move. Um, if you go back into this time period 2,000 years ago and you think of a Roman soldier obviously having their feet guarded and their feet prepared so that they can move swiftly would have been incredibly important. And as Paul uses this imagery, what he's talking about are feet fitted with the readiness of the gospel of peace. And the picture there is kind of twofold. It's one of readiness and it's one of the gospel of peace. And, and part of that is for us internally to make sure we are grounded in, reminded of, built on, balancing on the gospel of peace in our own lives. But there's also an element of this of moving forward in our lives with the gospel of peace. You know, what does this world need more than anything else? If you look around, all you see is brokenness. You know, Turn on the news, any outlet, any channel, and what you're gonna find immediately are things aren't as they should be. And what is the one thing that can restore that? It's the gospel. It's what Christ has done for us. And so this idea, as it's all throughout Scripture, not just in Ephesians here, you see it in Romans, you see it back in the Old Testament in Isaiah, of uh, there's, a, there's a verse and a phrase that says, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. And, and the imagery there is when someone brings you good news, when someone brings you good tidings and cheers you, it, it's, it's a beautiful thing for them to walk into your presence. And so for us as Christians, we need to be sure that we're grounding ourselves in the gospel of peace, but we also need to be actively stepping forward, moving forward and sharing and living that gospel of peace. And so today, as you think about what does that mean, what does it look like in your life, I just ask you simply to think about as a family, how often are you reminding and recentering yourself on the truth of the gospel? And then how often are you individually as a parent and even challenging your child to move forward, not just living the gospel, but speaking the gospel to the people we encounter each day? God gives us so much opportunity. Our prayer in our own lives is that we wouldn't miss it and that we wouldn't lose sight of it. Uh, but our prayer for this school and for each of you individually is that we would all move forward in the gospel of peace.